Your merciful love, O oh God, you have revealed in the midst of your people, temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, Fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. A splendor shall be like an olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and rise again. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of, because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. My mouth will declare your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in, your, in the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense, thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. My mouth will declare your praise. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity of heart, and in my inmost being teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of my sin with hyssop, that I may be purified. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow your praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Clear your praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You'll be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death. Shoo. Excuse me. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Okay. <laughs> it's like my brothers were smiling when I sneezed on the word brother. <laughs> oh, well, these are kind of some hard readings, like comforting but yet difficult. Difficult because, boy. Sometimes we worship idols. I mean, I, I mean, I shouldn't say we. I mean, sometimes people worship idols and uh, come in various shapes and sizes. Uh, you know, it could be the idol of popularity, of, of uh, opinion, of money, of, fame, of achievement, of, of whatever, where we put our identity, our sense of well-being, our sense of eternal direction in something that really can't deliver it. And in so doing, we get taken away from God, who can really provide our identity, our security, our sense of eternal direction to heaven. And so we have that difficulty of sin placing things before God, putting things out of order. But then we have this other difficulty that comes from outside of us. Sin is our own choices, okay? But then we have this difficulty that Jesus speaks of in the gospel. I am sending you out like sheep in the midst of wolves. What an image. <laughs> They're going to hand you into courts and synagogues and so forth. Because the world is affected by original sin. People are affected by original sin, and sometimes our choices reflect the direction of original sin, and it hurts others. And the Lord says, hey, you're going to be going through this. If you're going to stay focused on me, there's going to be people who try to take you away from me, whether intentionally or unintentionally. We may not have the religious persecution that some of our brothers and sisters throughout the world face, especially, for example, in China, where priests and bishops are arrested, and the normal things that we take for granted for our faith, they can't do legally. And there's other places. But we have our own issues here, don't we? So what's the good news? 
<laughs> That's what gospel means, good news. And my time's about up, so better get to it. Is that the Lord is with us. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Is that God is with us in the difficulties of this life. And we think of our own moral failings, our practicing to be more like Christ, but we're falling. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. God does not give up on sinners because he knows <laughs> we're children who sin. We're not just sinners, but we're loved by God. So, who are you going to share this good news with today? That God is with you and for you and loves you and has a way out of moral failings and to help you through persecution and grumbling and division. That's the good news. Let us turn to our loving Father and give voice to our prayers. For the church around the world, may she be blessed and preserved in holiness through the graces and gifts of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations on earth, May God establish peace and security among them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Holy, for Holy Trinity Parish, especially those carrying on the legacy from Holy Rosary Parish, that they may come with gratitude into this new chapter of our history. For all the graces bestowed during the history of this parish and all the gifts these parishioners bring to the new community woven together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to per persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Florence Newberry, may they enjoy eternal paradise in the presence of God. And for the intentions of this Mass, John Condon, Karen Reeder, and David Condon. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And together we offer our vocations prayer. God our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your Spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious as we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol, extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May you receive into your body the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Have mercy to judge and condemnation. Three life and mercy be for me. Protection, mind, and body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. Let us pray. Help. 
Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we, we're excited over the next couple weeks. Most of our kids will be receiving their first Holy Communion. Uh, so please pray for our first communicants that they may have a wonderful reception of Jesus for the first time in Holy Communion. Today, uh, roughly 7.45, is a coffee on Zoom, and I intend to be there if, as long as the internet works, and so I hope to see you there. Seminarians might, might be there, um, and yeah, hope you have a great weekend. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.